Okay, here we have a problem where we're going to be putting everything together that we have learned about. So we're going to graph this quadratic fu function by determining whether it opens up or down. We're going to find its vertex, the axis of symmetry, x and y intercepts, domain and range, and we're going to talk about where it's increasing and where it's decreasing. And then it says verify your results using a graphing utility. Now we're going to actually do all of this without a calculator, and I want you to see actually how how easy it is um, for us to do that. So I'm um, down here at the bottom I have a graph and as we go through this I'm going to be plotting as we go so that we have our picture. Okay so first things first we need to look at our equation. We have f of x equals x squared minus 4x. Now because this is a quadratic equation or quadratic function that means that we have an A value, a B value, and a C value. A is the number that's in front of the x squared, so in this case that would be 1. B is the number that's in front of the x, so in this case that would be negative 4. And C is the constant term, the one at the end. Well, we don't have one here, so in this case C is 0. Okay. So now once we've identified that, now we can do everything else. We need to determine which way this thing opens, and we do that by looking at the A value. Remember, if the A is positive, it tells us that it opens up. If it's negative, it tells us that it opens down. So this function will open up. So we don't know exactly what it looks like, but we do know that it will be this U-shaped graph opening up. Now let's find the vertex. Well, the vertex is an x and a y coordinate point, an ordered pair. And in order to find that, we know that x equals negative b over 2a. So now we can just plug in our b value and our a value and simplify this to find x. So x will equal negative b, which is negative 4, over 2 times a, which is 1. And now we simplify. So negative, negative 4, the opposite of negative 4 would be 4. 2 times 1 would be 2. So our x value for the vertex is 2. Now to find the y that goes with that, we just have to plug our x in and find y because we know that y equals x squared minus 4x. That's our equation. So y will equal, instead of x, we're going to plug in a 2 everywhere we see x, and then simplify. So 2 squared would be 4, minus 4 times 2 would be 8. So our y value here is negative 4. This tells us that our vertex is the point 2, negative 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and plot that as we go. So 2, negative 4 would be right there. Now because this thing opens up, I know it's going to do something like this. I don't know exactly how fat or how skinny it's going to be, but I do know that that's the vertex and it opens up. I also know that because the axis of symmetry runs down through the vertex, that the axis of symmetry will run right here. And the axis of symmetry is a line, so we have to name it that way. So in this case, it would be x equals 2. Now notice the, the x value for the axis and the x value of the ordered pair for the vertex are the exact same. They always should be. So we know that our axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Now in the next videos, we'll find our intercepts and domain and range.